Yeah, so we uh, think about oregano as being native to the Mediterranean, and, and that's true. And, and, and some people might think, oh, well, they're not hardy enough for, for Scotland and the north of Scotland and so on. But that, that isn't the case because Scots oregano or oregano bulgari grows us way up in the Cairngorms um, near uh, a place called Tomintal. And uh, when we first got started, about 40 years ago, a customer came along and said, would he like some seeds? of an oregano that grows on a rock face in Tom and Tal. So we said, yes, thank you. And we grew it on, and here it is. So this is hardy at uh, one to 2,000 feet above sea level. So don't be put off if someone says, you can't do something, give it a go and try it. And it's more to do with the habitat that you put the herbs in that makes the difference. So this was growing on a rock face in a quarry up in the Cairngorms. Give it the same conditions. So Herbs don't like um, a rich soil, with exceptions. They like a poor to moderate soil. Most of them grow in the wild, uh, so put them in a rock garden with low nutrient, low fertility, not a rich soil, such as you have here for your beautiful vegetables with loads of seaweed donated by volunteers. And um, try the herbs in the right habitat, the right position. So if you're up on a hill somewhere at a thousand feet, then you, you do fine um, with a bit of um, experimentation. So that's the oreganos. And we'll move on to this one, uh, sorrel or butter leaf sorrel. Its um, botanical name is Rumex scutatus, scutatus, which means spade, because the, the leaves look like a wee bit like spades. And all gardeners wield spades but you don't have to dig too much for this one because, again, it doesn't like a, a rich soil. It likes a moderate soil. Um, French soil, what would we use that in for cooking? Um, this is very useful for salad early in the spring because early spring um, lettuce not ready yet. <laughs> so you pick uh, with the other herbs um, like um, um, garlic mustard or fennel shoots and this and um, few other things you pick and you can make a beautiful salad if you you can grate um, carrots or you can grate um, oh you you can slice uh, onions or then you can make a lovely winter salad or early spring salad and then uh, it has um, a sort of sour taste, so wakes you up. <laughs> yes, it, it's a good substitute for lemon. If you if you're suddenly caught out without a lemon for for a specific um, dish, use sorrel leaves because it is it's almost identical. Um, try it. So that's these four plants. And then, and then yep. when when the school children came to the nursery. Um, they tried a few herbs, and this was the most popular one <laughs> among them. <laughs>